Hi guys, it's Ben here from T-Rex Space Station. How's everyone doing? I hope you've all had a good Easter weekend. I know that I have. I've been pretty busy hunting for video game bargains. Uh, I met up with Dave Webster and we went looking for games in Ashton, which I've not been to before. There's a really cool shop there called Rewind Collectibles and uh, I got some pretty good pickups. So I'll start off showing you a little bit of footage inside some of the stores that we went to in Ashton and then we'll talk about the games that I got. So yeah, Rewind Collectibles in Ashton was really good and I found some pretty good bargains. Um, they have a pretty good selection of Mega Drive games in there. And so first game that I picked up is Lotus Turbo Challenge. This is a game by Gremlin, uh, Gremlin Graphics Software and it's an EA game essentially. Um, I do like collecting some of these uh, yellow box EA games. And uh, this is basically, it's a, it's a racing game, kind of very similar to OutRun in that you race against uh, a clock going through checkpoints, but of course you get to race in cool Lotus cars. And, um, you know, four pounds without manual, I thought that's pretty reasonable. I think you'd be pushed to find it for cheaper than that on eBay. And I'm pretty looking forward to checking that one out because I've heard good things. I think that, that that is one of the better ones. I think Lotus One was one that had problems with graphics and frame rate issues from what I seem to remember people saying. Um, so, yeah, it's not an amazing game, but I think it's, it's reasonable and I'm looking forward to checking it out. Next up is a Wii game. You know that I love collecting for the Wii. This is No More Heroes, um, a game that I owned for ages and I seem to have lost and I'm pretty shocked that I can't find it so I had to rebuy it. This is in pretty much perfect nick and it's, it was only three quid so pretty good bargain. Um, this is a really good kind of hack and slash type beat em up game with lots of quirky um, mini games and things. Um, it's a shame that we got a censored version with no blood, so I think the people explode into money or, or something. Um, but it's a game with a very good sense of humour. You've got to fight your way through uh, a league of boss fights to get to be like the number one assassin. It's got some open world elements which are a little bit glitchy from what I remember, but it's still a classic. And it's one that I had to buy back because I was like, where the hell has this game gone? It's awesome. Always got to have a bit of a PS2 pickup. Um, this is Tato Legends um, Volume 1. I've got Volume 2, and these are really good. They include a lot of classic Tato um, arcade games for the PS2. And I've been really impressed with the, with the second one. Um, this one's got some classics on it, you know, Bubble Bobble, Space Invaders. Looks like, um, what's that, Operation Wolf there, which is a fun light gun game. And anyone who likes those classic arcade games should check these out. And again, this was pretty cheap at three quid. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing that off. And actually, it's good for YouTubers because it's got so many games on it. You've got all the content you could need for ages on that. And then we went into a CEX store. And as I said to you guys before, I love collecting for the Wii because you can get games for so damn cheap, especially if you look in CEX. So this is uh, Geometry Wars Galaxies. It's kind of a retro style uh, shooter. 75 pence. You can't go wrong for 75 pence, can you? Um, so that's one of the reasons why I love collecting for the Wii. The games are so flipping cheap. You can, you can really find some bargains if you keep your eye out. 
Um, today I went to Trafford Centre. Trafford Centre's got a, a new game, um, actually. It's been revamped, redone. And initially I thought there were no Wii games in there, but it, they've moved it all to be upstairs. And they had some pretty good bargains there. Um, so the first pickup I got from there was Aliens Colonial Marines. I know this game was pretty bad. I know there were high expectations, and what we actually got was damn, damn well bad, awful, just disappointing. Um, but a lot of people have said to me, actually, if you want a kind of, you know, don't have to think too much first-person shooter, it's kind of fun. It's sort of mindless fun, blowing up aliens and having a good time. And I'm curious to check it out. I like alien games, and so for 99 pence. I couldn't really say no. So I'm looking forward to playing this as a bit of a mindless first person shooter to check it out. And even if it's not that good, 99 pence, you can't go wrong. So I was pretty pleased with that. This is even cheaper. I told you about cheap Wii games. 49p for Trauma Center New Blood. Um, I've never played the Trauma Center games before, but I like the look of them and I'm pretty curious about them. I think this one will be quite fun to play with Neve because it's got two player co op. And you basically use the Wiimote to control like surgical instruments and um, you know try and do operations. I think you're against the clock and it gets increasingly more intense. They're Atlas games, so you know they're going to be pretty good quality. I mean, Atlas makes some phenomenal games. Um, so for 49 pence, very happy with that. I might try and get Neve to play that one cooperatively. It'd be kind of fun to see two doctors try and play Trauma Center, wouldn't it? Uh, there was a 3 for 2 deal on, so I picked up WarioWare Smooth Moves, a game that I remember very fondly from back in the day, playing it at my old girlfriend's house. It's a very good game for playing um, as multiplayer, as a, a party, full of quick time mini games, and a very inventive use of the Wiimote for that game. Um, so it's one that you kind of have to get, and I, I just haven't had it for all that time, so that was part of a like 3 uh, for 2 offer, so it was pretty cheap. And then I found Dragon Blade Wrath of Fire. This is a game that I see knocking around um, on various uh, internet channels and on, on Wii videos. And I've just never really played it. And I've not, I don't actually remember watching any reviews of it. But I think it's a pretty good game. And it looks as though it's um, sort of an action-adventure game with plenty of Wiimote wiggling and you summon the power of a dragon or something like that. Um, it looks like quite a unique game and I do like to keep my eye out for some of the more unique Wii games around there and this is one that I wanted to add to my collection. Again it was part of the 3 for 2. I think it was a, it's £4.99. I'm not sure if that's a good price or not but I figured oh, it looks like it's in good condition, let's buy it. Don't know a great deal about it but I, you do see it knocking around all over the place on, on YouTube. So yeah, maybe I'll do a gameplay of it or something, or certainly I'll check it out soon. I actually missed out a pickup, so here's me adding a quick addendum. Um, the other one that I got was Blazing Angels, and this was £1.99, Squadrons of World War II. I've seen Dave Lomboy's post to a video of this, and it looks like a really fun aerial combat game. I do quite enjoy the aerial combat games. Um, there's another one that I posted that was kind of an anime cartoony style game. The name of that completely evades me at the moment, but this is an Ubisoft game. Um, you use the Wii Remote to steer and control your aircraft and basically blow each other up. Um, and I remember Lawn Boy's post showing it and it looked like a really good game. So another one that I've been kind of keeping my eye out for and £1.99, you can't really say fairer than that. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into. I do kind of like my mindless action games and aerial combat is certainly one of the one of the kind of one of the things that works well on the Wii because of the, the twin stick sort of controls. So yeah, looking forward to checking this one out too. So yeah, it's been a fun weekend collecting guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this pickups video. And uh, yeah, I got a chance to hang out with Dave Webster and we did some videos together and he's put up an FMV uh, special that we recorded at his house this weekend. So go ahead and check that out on his channel. Take care guys and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.